Economics Board exam? Well, I hope all of you are prepared for the examination. So students, you must be thinking why I'm here. So I'm here to discuss some most important topics of economics from examination point of view. Now before proceeding, students, let's see chapter-wise breakup of marks as prescribed by CBSC. So as you can see, chapter 1 is allotted 6 marks. Chapter 2 and chapter 3 are of 16 marks. Chapter 4 is of 12 marks. Now coming to macroeconomics. In macro, chapter 5 is an essential chapter of 15 marks. Chapter 6 and 8 are of 8 marks. And chapter 7 is of 12 marks. And chapter 9 is of 7 marks. So with this, we have analyzed the marks distribution. Now let's see the important topics. Starting with microeconomics, let's see chapter 1. So in chapter 1, the two topics which you cannot afford to miss are the concept of production possibility curve and central problems of an economy. So all of you are aware what are the central problems of an economy. What to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Now talking about production possibility curve, you should not miss any topic from this particular concept. The things which you need to cover are shape of production possibility curve, properties of production possibility curve and slope of production possibility curve. So these are the very important things. Just uh, focus on these topics. Now coming to chapter 2, not to miss topics are consumer equilibrium. Okay, so when we are talking about consumer equilibrium, you need to focus on both the approaches. What are the two approaches? The approaches are cardinal approach and ordinal approach. Okay, so you should know what are the conditions of consumer equilibrium. Now, after consumer equilibrium, if we talk about the second topic, the second topic is price elasticity of demand. Now, we know that there are three methods of measuring price elasticity of demand. And what are these methods? The methods are percentage method, geometric method and total expenditure method. Among these three methods, the most important ones are percentage method and total expenditure method. So, this was about chapter 2. So coming to chapter 3, the important topics are law of variable proportions, the various cost and revenue curves, elasticity of supply and the last but not the least is producers equilibrium using MRNC approach. So lastly, we have chapter 4. In chapter 4, you should be thorough with the features of all the market forms. You should know the features of perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic and oligopoly. So be familiar with all the features and focus on the concepts of price ceiling and price flow. This was all about micro. Now coming to macroeconomic students, we have chapter 5. Chapter 5 is very important chapter and in this chapter you should focus on calculation of national income and its aggregates. This was about chapter 5. Moving to chapter 6, you should know what are the features of money. Okay, features or we can say functions of money and functions of central bank. The very important one is credit creation by commercial banks. So this was about chapter 6. Moving to chapter 7, we have determination of equilibrium output multiplier and the concepts of excess demand and deficit demand. Now coming to chapter 8 students, the components of government budget and budget deficit are the hot favorite topics of CBSC. Talking about chapter 9, you should spend a lot of time on the topics like concept of balance of payment and fixed and flexible exchange rate. Students, this was all about the important topics. Now, let me just tell you that it doesn't mean that you should focus only on these topics. Okay, what you need to do? You need to go through all the topics which are there in your syllabus. Okay, just don't leave, don't skip any topic. And don't forget to go through NCRT solutions, board paper.
papers, pre-board papers and sample papers. I hope all of you will do well in your board examination. Best of luck from Top Learning Team.